All right, we have Robert back here for another check of your forecast. Uh, what does the rest of our week look like? You were talking about some showers. Uh, nice tomorrow. Uh, not so nice, though, on Thursday, unfortunately, Allison. Quite a bit of rainfall impact day on Thursday for all that rain and wind and miserable conditions. But nothing like that right now in Fayetteville. Things are nice and quiet. Uh, the square is all lit up. We're at 56 today. A uh, degree above the average, which is 55 for this time of the year. Fort Smith also nice and peaceful on this Tuesday evening. 61 today, a few degrees north of your average of 58, but it was a chilly morning. Six degrees below average. Very cold this morning in 1976 in Fort Smith when you fell to just 11 degrees. Now, big picture shows very quiet conditions across the lower 48. Uh, we've got high pressure continuing to remain in control. The return flow around it is bringing in those southerly winds and allowing temperatures to remain on the uh, mild side for the most part. A lot of lake effect snow activity up across the Great Lakes area, but that's about it. Uh, really no unsettled, uh, you know, severe weather or anything like that to worry about, but that's going to change over the next 24 hours. We'll see clouds on the increase tomorrow. One more warm day. Most of us could flirt with 60 or get a few de degrees above it. And then as we get into Thursday, you'll be able to see here comes the rain and the shower activity throughout the day on Thursday. Various waves of wet, as I like to say sometimes, with moderate to maybe at times heavy rainfall. There could be a couple of afternoon thunderstorms mixed in as well. Severe weather not really expected, but we could get some pretty good downpours at times, which uh, flash flooding not completely out of the question in the, the more notorious areas of your neighborhood. That do uh, that does see high water at times. Pretty quick moving system. It's out of here by early Friday morning. We start to dry out. Not super cold behind it, but definitely uh, on the breezy side. And uh, in its wake, we'll be left with probably an inch or so of rain uh, left behind from the system. Higher amounts the further south and east you get towards central Arkansas. And as I said, temperatures really not falling too much by five, six degrees or so. Uh, not too bad across northwest Arkansas as well as in the river valley behind it. We warm up quite quickly behind it by the weekend back into the 60s uh, for the most part. So quiet tonight, temperatures falling back into the 30s uh, thanks to those southwesterly winds, 30s instead of 20s and teens. I think we'll take that. And then sunshine early, clouds moving in as we go through the day, temperatures into the 50s and 60s as well. And there's your extended forecast. As I said, it is an impact day on Thursday with all that rain and miserable uh, weather headed our way, but it's nice for the weekend. Nice headed into early next week as well. Uh, we say goodbye to November and say hello to December as we get into this weekend uh, for I believe December 1st is on Friday uh, with the outside chance for sprinkle and not bad for the weekend if you're setting up those holiday decorations outside. Stay with us. We're going to go back to Cameron. She's got more breaking hogs news. It's been a busy day. All the latest after the break.